two years ago I reviewed a DS title called Lunar Nights. In that video I mentioned the fact that it was a spin-off of a Game Boy Advance game called Boktai The Sun Is In Your Hand. I've been meaning to take a look at this game ever since, but my own laziness got in the way. That changes today though, so without further ado, let's check out Boktai. Released in 2003 for the Game Boy Advance, this is another series from Konami that has you hunting vampires and other undead enemies. However, this one is quite different from the more popular Castlevania series. After admiring the nice cover art, you may notice that this game was produced by none other than Hideo Kojima. Does that mean that this will be a stealth game with 4 hours of cutscenes for every 15 minutes of gameplay? Well, we'll get to the gameplay in a minute, but first, we need to take a look at the cartridge. As you can see, it looks quite different than other Game Boy Advance games. For one thing, it's considerably larger. It's also transparent, which lets you see the most unique feature of this game, the solar sensor. The sensor harnesses the sun's rays in the real world and allows you to use your weapon, called the Gundel Soul, in the game world. Which means that you will actually need to take your Game Boy Advance outside to fully enjoy this game. Now, there are ways to trick the sensor with a black light or UV light. I don't have either one of those, so I'm going to play this game the way it was intended. Outside. Book time! The sun is in your hand! Boktai is an action game with some light RPG elements. Of course, since Kojima is involved, there is a bit of stealth as well. You can rush into a room with your solar gun ablazing, but you'll blow through your energy pretty quick, and it will also affect your ranking when you complete the area. It's generally a better idea to sneak past monsters, and save that precious energy for bosses and trap rooms. There are various ways to recharge your energy. If you're outside, the sunlight will slowly refill your weapon. You can also hold the A button down to gather energy faster. This only works if you're in an outdoor environment in the game or under a skylight. Solar stations can be found on occasion, which can hold massive amounts of energy. You can also gather elemental bugs when you see green glowing spots in the ground. There are also some consumable items called solar nuts but you don't get too many, and they should only be used in an emergency. The goal of each dungeon is to find the Immortal, defeat it, then drag its coffin to the pile driver and use sunlight to vanquish the enemy for good. While you're sneaking your way to the Immortal, there will be lots of puzzles to solve. Some will have you pushing or destroying blocks, some will have you bouncing shots off mirrors, and others will have you solving math problems. None of the puzzles are too difficult, although you may have to look at a few from a different perspective. Sunlight affects quite a few things in this game besides refilling your weapon and vanquishing mortals. It will affect traps and puzzles, and will change what enemies appear inside a dungeon. It should be noted, however, that you don't always have to be outside when playing. You will have to be outside for the pile driver, but as long as you have a lot of energy stored in the solar station, you can enjoy the game indoors for a while. Your weapon has some nice customization options. The most important is the upgradable battery, which will let you carry around more energy. You will also find lenses for different attack attributes and frames for attack types. It can shoot various types of grenades as well. The controls in Boktai are excellent. In the options menu, you can configure the D-pad so you don't have to press diagonally for movement. If you need to hide against a wall, simply press towards it. You can also tap on the wall with the A button. When you're not hiding, the A button is used as an action button and also for charging. B fires your gun del sol, and you can tap for long range bullets or hold the button down for a stronger short range attack. The R button can be used to look around the area, very handy for staying out of the enemy's sight. And the L button is for grenades. The controls feel very natural and you never have to think about them, which is exactly what you want for this type of game. 
This game has a really nice soundtrack filled with many memorable tunes. There is a little bit of voice acting, usually just a line here and there while you're reading text, and it's done pretty well. If you're going to purchase Boktai, see if the person or shop will let you test it first to make sure the solar sensor works. It would be a shame to get the game home and not be able to advance past a boss because the sensor is broken. As far as I know, these sensors were pretty well designed and should be fine, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Another thing to note when purchasing this game is that there's a good chance it will have a dead battery. It will still let you save your progress, but it won't save the date and time for the game's internal clock after you turn it off. Anyone that owns a Dreamcast has experienced the same thing with the VMU's batteries. You can change the battery in the cart if it really bothers you that much, but you do run the risk of damaging the solar sensor, so be very careful. Boktai is a fantastic action game that blends stealth and some light RPG elements along with a solar sensor to make a truly unique experience. If you're concerned about seeing Kojima's name and sitting through hours of cutscenes, don't be. While there is a story there, the gameplay is the major focus of this one. While some may not like having to go outside to play, those that don't mind will enjoy one of the best games on the handheld. A must play for the GBA. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.